Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about implementing search in our data grid view in C sharp. So let's start. So uh, first let me show you the application that we have created. Now if you can see that we have this data grid view and uh, we have this student underscore id and student name and this student underscore father name here now i want to change these uh, columns names uh, to student id name and father name so uh, to do this i will come to my um, ssms and here we will uh, modify this uh, get student uh, data stored procedure so we created this stored procedure in our previous tutorial but we forgot to convert or uh, rename this in these columns in our stored procedure so i'll make this student id and uh, as uh, name uh, name is uh, a column here so student our name is perfect name is uh, it should be in double quotes uh, single quotes or uh, double quotes so I'll use single quotes a single quote single quote and here I'll also use a single quote and father name and single quote now i'll modify execute this so it will uh come on complete it successfully so it's successfully modified now if i go again to our uh, uh, visual studio stop this and uh, rerun this now you will see that the column names will change now you can see here student id name and father name here now we are good to go now we will uh, implement search in this uh, uh, data grid view uh, on this column name as well as uh, on this uh, district name we have to change this district name as well so i'll uh, close this again go to this again and here i'll uh, make this um, district name as district and now i'll execute again so now it will be perfect so now i'll come here and uh, add in a label and uh, a text box so first i will search for a label so label and um, i'll put it here I'll uh, rename this as uh, text as search and I'll uh, make the font bold ok and now uh, I'll bring in a text box so text box and uh, I'll place it here now I'll extend it a bit. Now I'll change the name here. Uh, name search text box. And now I'll now it is perfect. Now I'll uh, double click on this. To create its uh, text change event now here we will uh, code so now we have a problem now you can see that this data table which is this data source of this um, dvg student data grid view students so it is uh, locally defined here here so now i want it uh, uh, global so for that i will come here and uh, I'll use here private um, data uh, table um, 
std data table equals new data table and uh, I'll put semicolon here I'll close this and now we will go down and uh, here we will uh, remove this and uh, here we will load it in the student data table std data table and here we will assign it std data table now this std data table is uh, uh, accessible inside here so now here we will create data view uh, dv data view students equals std data table dot default view semicolon and now here we will uh, implement the search uh, we will use dv dv students dot row filter it is not mm, dv students dot uh, row filter this one equals and now we will use a query like uh, we use in SQL server or in SQL so here we will use uh, a name and this name is uh, the column name and uh, then like and then percent single quote first and then percent then plus uh, name search text box dot text and then plus uh, then percent sign and then single quote and now we will put semicolon here now if we run this right now and now if I search here is a now you can see that it has uh, filtered all the names with is a or uh, when I use n so you can see that it uh, filtered all the names with, with is a n and um, if I use uh, t a so it has filtered all the name or searched all the name with uh, t a now we will implement uh, this search also on this uh, district so for that I will close this and uh, I'll create a new method here um, or first I will go to design main form and I will drag in a new uh, text box so if I search here T text box and I'll place it here now I'll expand this and I'll move it above now it's okay now uh, we will change its name so district search text box and now all double click on it to create its uh, click event now we will create a new method and we will uh, pass in this code into that and then we can search uh, for both in that now I'll come here private search wide uh, search by column name and now we will put curly braces now uh, I'll copy this code from here control C this and I will control V it here now 
as we have this uh, code copied now I will create two uh, parameters here one is strength uh, column name and the other one is text box txt so now um, this name is column name so I'll remove this and uh, here I'll use column column name plus and uh, here we will use txt instead of text box txt now our code is complete so now we will call this uh, uh, method here search by a column name and we will pass in the parameters to this method so here the column name is a uh, district district and the uh, text box name is uh, uh, district search text box and now we will uh, similarly call this method here we will remove this code make space and search by column name and uh, I'll pass in here uh, name name is the column name and then uh, text box so name search text box and now we'll put semicolon now let's run it and check it if it is working so now if I search in this uh, name column is a you can see it is filtering the name now if I search in uh, this uh, if I remove this and if I search in this uh, um, district name if I show you the districts so here if I search now Shehra you can see now Shehra is uh, filtered all the records with district now Shehra and if I search DIK now you can see DIK the record with DIK is filtered so in this way we can implement search in um, our data grid view I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you